The acting director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives may be ousted this week. It comes in the wake of considerable controversy over a tragic Fast and Furious gun trafficking operation run by the Justice Department and the ATF. The Department of Justice will not confirm that Kenneth Melson will be removed from office, but they would not deny that it will occur. Joining us now for more on the Fast and Furious investigation, Larry Pratt, Executive Director of Gun Owners of America. Larry, good to have you with us. This is good an absolute debacle. The field agents of ATF obviously just overrun by management uh, playing apparently some sort of political game here. We can't discern what. What, what are your impressions? Well, some of the documents that uh, Daryl Issa, the head of the House Oversight Committee, have released, has released, uh, indicate that there were fairly regular briefings on the guns that were intended to go across the border that weren't being stopped at some the first 25, illegal... Some 2,500 of them. About 2,500, and has resulted in the death of an estimated 150 uh, mostly police officials and two of our government agents, um, but they would be talking about, boy, this is good, you know, the, the violence is really rising in Mexico. Well, obviously then, they didn't have police action in mind, and as the whistleblowers... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just said, this is good, violence is rising in Mexico. Who said that? This was what they were being told, the agents were being told, the management uh, folks were being told. Uh, by whom? Regular briefings. By whom? Uh, by people in the chain that were getting the reports back okay, that's from a little, Mexico. Okay, that's a little uh, amorphous for me. Okay. Uh, they, I mean, they are you saying tracking... Justice Department officials said that? Right. Are you saying... Right. Okay. In ATF. In ATF, they were... They ATF were officials. Track... Yes, sir. They okay. were keeping track of their own program, and they were very happy with it. And since the, the agents that blew the whistle had warned, this isn't police work. Somebody's going to get killed. Th then we know that I if they were saying this is right. not police work at all, there has to have been another motive indicated by the fact that they were w uh, pleased with the level of r rising violence in, in Mexico. They wanted to pin the tail on the American gun owner. Uh, and if this if these agents hadn't blown the whistle, that was starting to happen. The press was starting to talk about all these guns south of the border that came yeah. from American gun stores. And we, oh. we want to put in context something. Eric Holder and uh, Janet Napolitano uh, famously made a trip uh, down to Mexico. And basically, their two offices have been spreading this, uh, these uh, allegations, whatever you want to call them, uh, about American guns while the Justice Department and ATF were effectively sponsoring uh, the shipment across that border of hundreds and hundreds of weapons. Yeah, to the extent that American firearms are the problem, uh, it's our own government that's done most of it. Most of the guns in Mexico that are found in well, crime, even with the ATF support, it's maybe 15, 17 percent. Yeah, and, and what is your reaction? I mean, Daryl Issa, Congressman Issa, uh, Senator Chuck Grassley, uh, how big uh, a thank you to gun owners in this country owe them? We saw a Republican leader do something that we don't see all that often. He tore into the, the assistant attorney general, a Democrat, and accused him of lying and proved that the man had been a liar and started out uh, the interrogation of the man by saying, I am totally dissatisfied with the way you're cooperating, you're not, and he held up like three or four pages that were blacked out entirely. He said, this is not responsive full, and we're not going to stand for it. Right. Full redactions. Let me try this again. How big a thank you do the gun owners owe uh, Congressman Issa and Senator Grassley? Uh, both of these men have been on this from the get-go and we owe them the, the fact that this has broken out as much as it has in the media. Still the Democrat media haven't picked up on this with exceptions. All right. But, uh, we're, we're out of time. I appreciate it. Larry Pratt, thank you very much.